Hi, as you can see I've had a swivel plate fitted to my front passenger seat to enable us to get the most room out of our bongo. I'm just going to run through how that swivel plate works but it's a really good addition to any bongo and I'd highly recommend it. So this is how the swivel seat works. First of all I'm just going to pull the seat forward, lower the back down and then you've got two rods here. I've got a safety bolt which just comes out. Pull out the rods. one side and then we're just going to lift the seat up and pull it towards me and then turn it round and then push it back over and there you have the seat. So our swivel seat was fitted by North Star Conversions and they're based in Southampton and the Isle of Wight. The other option you have is you can take it to New Dawn who are based in the Midlands, Birmingham way. Um, or if you live further away, you can actually take your seat apart and send it off to New Dawn. They will then fit the swivel plate to the seat and then you can fit it back into your bongo. Um, carry on watching and I'll show you how to take the seat out to get it ready to send off. Right, the first thing we need to do is undo the five bolts that are holding part of the seat in. So you need a 14mm socket or um, spanner and I'll show you where the five bolts are. We've got two at the front here and then we've got one down the other side and I'll show you the other two in a moment but let's just grab these off first. We've got another one at the back here so I'm just going to ease that one off, they can be a little bit tight. So the next two bolts that you need to take out are just located at the back of the seat under these two plastic, these two plastic covers. Um, you'll notice in the metal runner section you've got two little cutouts here. If you pull the plastic cover backwards then that should just hopefully lift out from within that part there. I used a small, small screwdriver, they weren't the easiest things in the world to get out but um, hopefully they'll be easy when they get back on. Next we want to take this plastic lever cover off here. So the easiest way is just to lift the lever up to give you access there with the hammer and just tap it forwards until it pops off. We've taken the plastic lever off, we just need to remove this plastic section here. So just a couple of screws in there just to get this off. And when we've got this off, there'll be a couple more bolts behind there and a screw that we need to take off. Now we've taken the plastic cover off, we've just exposed the last two bolts that need to come out. I'm just going to loosen these off and then there's a screw on the other side that I need to take out. That one could be a bit tricky as it is glued in, um, so we'll go over and do that one in a minute. But to start with, let's just loosen these off. Once you've undone the five bolts, we've taken off the lever and the plastic section here. I've loosened off these two bolts and now we need to access the screw on the other side. Um, at this point the chair will actually lift out. And then you can see the screw here that needs to come out. This screw um, is actually glued in. So if you can't get it out straight away, the best thing to do is use the bit out of the end of your screwdriver, place it in there, give it a couple of sharp taps with the hammer and hopefully that will loosen off the glue and then enable you to take the screw out. Um, once you've taken that out, undo the bolts on the other side and the back section of the chair will come off and then you can post the bottom section off to New Dawn and have your plate fitted. <laughs>